So in my last video, I talked about the EV tax credit for uh, U.S. citizens. Today, I'm going to talk about what's available to Canadians. Uh, I get a lot of calls about that. So let's start with that. Um, in, in Canada, the situation is simpler. It's a real rebate. It's not um, a tax credit against income taxes or future tax liability. It's just a straight rebate, just like you would buy anything online and you would mail in your rebate and you get a check in the mail. That's how our system works. However, unlike the U.S., ours is not at the federal level. It's at the provincial level and there's only three provinces in Canada that offer uh, EV rebates. Um, British Columbia, Quebec, and Ontario. The other provinces, unfortunately, don't have anything. So if you, uh, if you, if you want to have some kind of a of, of, of rebate system, whatever, please write to your premiers and ask for it. I think it's very important that this country gets off of uh, fossil fuels and really starts to a sustainable future. So if that's important to you, please write to your premier. So let's start with uh, BC and we'll kind of move our way over um, to Quebec and Ontario. So in British Columbia, their system is called the Clean Energy Vehicles or the CEV program. It applies to three types of vehicles, battery electric vehicles, BEVs, plug-in hybrids, and fuel cell vehicles, interestingly enough. The maximum rebate applicable is $5,000 for BEVs and plug-in hybrids and up to $6,000 for fuel cell vehicles. However, there's a few caveats. There's a price cap on the vehicles, cannot exceed $77,000 as of March 2nd, uh, 2016 when the program got revamped. Anything above that doesn't qualify, so unfortunately Model S and Model X Tesla vehicles are completely out because the base price in Canada for those vehicles is uh, $97,000, so that's out. But it bodes well for Model 3. Um, BC also has something else called the Scrap It program, which can potentially boost incentives by another $3,250. Uh, there's an online application form and an approval system. However, Tesla has decided not to participate in the program. So if you want to buy a Tesla, you're limited to the regular incentive maximum amount of $5,000. I'll give you a link at the bottom uh, so you can go and look at that program if you want. How much is in the incentive fund? So BC has allocated, as of um, April 1st, 2015, um, $6,640,000, but it was just upped uh, in March of 2016 by another uh, $6.9 million. So that's what's in the kitty uh, for, their, uh, for the rebate program. So we'll see how long that lasts. A couple other benefits in BC, you can get uh, HOV lane access, uh, high occupancy vehicle lane access. Um, they give you a, a decal that you put on your bumper. And lastly, also, I, I, before I forget, the CEV program also includes uh, $890,000 uh, allocated into the fund for public and residential public uh, charging stations. Um, that's not for home charging necessarily. That's just for uh, implementations of charges of residential and public sector uh, places. So that's, that's a pretty good start. So the next province we're going to talk about is Quebec. And the Quebec system is called the Quebec Transportation Electrification Action Plan. The maximum rebate um, that you can get on um, their vehicles is $8,000. The program runs from January 1st, 2016, that's when it was last revamped, and it expires on December 31st, 2020. So plenty of time for Model 3 to come into the play. Um, unlike Quebec and Ontario, there's no MSRP cap, so there's no cap on the price of the vehicle. But the rebates do vary uh, by the vehicle, and I'll give you a link at the bottom so you can click on that and you can just look at all the vehicles that are available and what the rebate um, amounts are. You can also get up to a $600 rebate for a charging station. So $350 is allocated toward the purchase of the station and $250 for the installation and the power supply. And I'll give you a link below to that document. Theirs is pretty simple um, and uh, it's been in play for a number of years. So uh, Quebec has a very good plan for moving forward with this stuff. So kudos to them. Okay, lastly, Ontario has the Ontario uh, Electrical Vehicle Incentive Program or what's known as the EVIP. Our program just got revamped on February 10th, 2016, and I'll just read off uh, a few of the bullet points in the program so you understand how it works. So it applies to vehicles with battery capacities of 5 to 16 kilowatt hours, and they're eligible for, uh, for incentives ranging from $6,000 to $10,000, and that's based on the, on the battery capacity of the vehicle. Vehicles with a battery capacity of larger than 16 kilowatt hours are also eligible for an additional $3,000 incentive. So there's $13,000 right there that you can get. Vehicles with five or more passenger seats are also eligible for an additional $1,000 incentive. So our incentives basically in Ontario could cap out as much as $14,000. It's pretty good. Vehicles with a manufacturer's suggested retail price 
of $75,000 to $150,000 as of the date of purchase or the lease or are eligible uh, for a maximum incentive value of $3,000 only. We call this the Tesla Clause, which means that Model S and Model X, the maximum rebate you could ever get on any of those vehicles because the MSRP is beyond $75,000 is only $3,000. But Model 3 is going to become in cheaper, so it works out for those. Unfortunately, Model S and Model X new owners, uh, those are expensive vehicles, and unfortunately the clause basically means that them, you know, they only get $3,000. It's unfortunate. One extra little caveat in there, too. Um, the total value of the incentives cannot exceed 30% of the manufacturer's suggested retail price. So the incentive value will be calculated based on the MSRP of the date of the, uh, of the purchase or the lease of the vehicle. So it bodes well for things like Model 3. Let's say the base price at current exchange rate comes in at about 45000 Canadian. And that's exclusive of options, by the way. The MSRP is never calculated with options. So, uh, you know, 30% of that price um, you know, should, should work out quite well. It hits about $13,000. So hopefully things will work out quite well for that. And based on the fact that it's also, um, you know, an extra $1,000 for the five seats, you know, could play out well. But I think the maximum might end up being uh, with the price. Um, 14000 would be the absolute maximum, but I think it's probably be closer to about $13,000, which is still really good. So that really brings the price down. It's quite good. All, um, there's a link at the bottom of the video here, and you can click on that, and you'll see a complete list of eligible cars and what the incentives amounts are. There's a benefit. Uh, in Ontario, we have green license plates that put on the vehicle, and that gives us single occupant uh, access to HOV lanes for the 400 series highways that we have around here. So those are really good. And uh, further and last on the list, you can also get up to a thousand dollar rebate and it can be used against the purchase and installation of a charging unit for your home or your commercial application. So those are really good. So I hope that answers some of the questions that you may have. Um, again, if you, if you have any further questions about that stuff, uh, click the links at the bottom of the video and in the, sh in the video notes and then uh, you'll be able to see uh, what all the programs are available and all the caveats and rules and regulations for each one of these things. And once again, I want to make a very clear point here. If you're not in BC, Quebec, or Ontario, and you really like your province to get in on in the electrification of this nation, please write to your premier and get them to put into some kind of incentive program. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have more videos coming soon. Thanks.